The Devon Ability Football League celebrated its 10th anniversary this weekend with more than 400 players taking part in their finals day. Now, when it first started, there were no women's teams. There are now six, and the number of men's you keep doing this. The number of men's teams has trebled in that time as well. Duncan Slyter went along to Columpton Rangers Football Club to see what it was all about. I think I'm going to have to have a word here. By their own admission, the first season for Exmouth Tigers Disability Ladies hasn't been the best on the pitch. But if you measure success in the camaraderie of players who hadn't met before last September, then they're certainly champions. We're getting better, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> We're at the bottom, I think. We have good days and bad days. Yes. Yep. Unless we're really hyper, <laughs> like we are today. <laughs> Even though we're like at the bottom of the table, we get there. You know, it's good team, good sportsmanship, and it gets us out of and exercising. The Devon Ability Counts League is for players with a disability who want to play football. More than 40 teams now take part. These teams meet once a month or so for a tournament like this, and this is the last of the season, so the last chance to earn some much-needed points. What does it mean to the people here to be taking part in these games? Oh, it means so much um, for, for them to take part and have fun, first of all. That, that's the main thing. But obviously there is the competitive element, and also for them to play in matches against other teams of their ability levels. Everyone with disabilities with Down syndrome, with ADHD that can come together and be with everyone. If we win a game all, all that time, it makes a, it makes a wonderful for us.